Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. In today's lesson, we are going to speak about ribosome. In the case of ribosome, okay, ribosome, ribosome gets this shape. It has two subunits. One is a large subunit, one is a small subunit. You child draw this diagram and mark upper one as the large subunit and the lower one as the small subunit. The note regarding ribosome is little. Okay. In the case of ribosome, And there is a complaint that the letters are small. Okay, I will make it larger. Hope this size letters are good. So ribosome, they are small, they are, they are, they are small organelles without a membrane. They don't have a membrane cover. And they are made up of two subunits, a large subunit and small subunit. They can be found in two places. One in, one is in free in cytoplasm. Second, it is attached to the endoplasmic reticule. Okay, one just scattered like pearls in the cytoplasm and second, they are attached to the uh, membrane of the organelle called endoplasmic reticule. And what is the function? The function of ribosome is provide, okay, you are pointed, providing place for protein synthesis. Providing place for protein synthesis is the function of ribosome. So that's all regarding ribosome. After ribosome, we speak about this structure called endoplasmic reticulum. Okay, we come to the point is regarding endoplasmic reticulum okay in the case of endoplasmic reticulum okay hereafter only we are going to expose regarding endoplasmic reticulum it is your book says it is an intermembranous network made up of flattened tubular sacs within the cytoplasm. So, there are two types of sacs there. One it is flat sacs there and other one it is tubular sacs there. Because there are two types of sacs, we are dividing the endoplasmic reticulum into two types. One we call, one we call rough endoplasmic reticulum. Second we call smooth endoplasmic reticulum. So, what are the two types of endoplasmic reticulum? Rough endoplasmic reticulum and smooth endoplasmic reticulum. So, the functions are not same for them. The characteristics are not same for them. Look at this diagram. Okay. So, it is showing you the rough endoplasmic reticulum and smooth endoplasmic reticulum. Smooth endoplasmic reticulum is like tube-like structures. Rough endoplasmic reticulum on the surface, that black color dot 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 dots dots are there. No? Those black color dots are ribosomes. Because ribosomes are present on the surface, the surface is rough. That's why it is called rough endoplasmic reticulum. So I want you to I want you to draw this diagram. Okay, you children can pause and draw this diagram. Okay, the rough endoplasmic reticulum, smooth endoplasmic reticulum. Okay, rough endoplasmic reticulum has ribosomes on the surface. Here down a circle is shown to you now. That circle is the nucleus. You mark it as nucleus. Surface of nucleus is attached to rough endoplasmic reticulum. You should mark that also. 
okay with that idea i am coming to the details about rough endoplasmic reticulum in the case of rough endoplasmic reticulum you are given a small note there after drawing the diagram you can go for the noting okay rough endoplasmic reticulum okay has these details to know it endoplasmic reticulum becomes rough due to whom due to the ribosomes attached to the membrane and what is the function of it what is the function of it function is function is okay transportation of proteins within the cell who is transported proteins are transported within the cell simple note similarly when you go for the smooth endoplasmic reticulum okay smooth endoplasmic reticulum smooth endoplasmic reticulum is a tubular network without ribosome on the membrane what are the functions functions are okay number 1 synthesis of lipids and steroids okay synthesis of lipids and steroids and to transport them within the cell okay so we can write this one into two pieces okay one it is synthesis of lipids and steroids second we can say transport of lipids and steroids within the cell okay these are the two functions of uh, smooth endoplasmic reticulum so i am giving you a homework question to you that is write a comparison between smooth endoplasmic reticulum and rough endoplasmic reticulum put a table and write the comparison let's see 